Good evening and welcome to Lovington Lady Cat Softball from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bob Thriftway, Western States Insurance, Eunice Pump and Supply, Devon Energy, the First American Bank of Lovington, Lovington Auto Supply in Napa, the Lee County Electric Cooperative, Stone Oil Field Services and the Lovington Municipal Schools. From Lady Cat Field, I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Dawn Morgan, just a little bit under the weather as we get ready for this non district matchup between your Lovington Lady Cats and the visiting Cave Girls of Carlsbad. For the Lady Cats, under longtime head coach Stephen McCraw, they come in at 6 and 2 on the year. And right now they are sitting in the number three slot in the state in Class 4A, according to the Max Preps Matrix. On the other side of things, the Carlsbad Cave Girls, under head coach Brian Santo, having a very un-Carlsbad-like early part of their season. They are just 4-4 four and four coming into tonight's game. And right now, according to Max Preps, they are the number six team in Class 5A. Now, of course, when we last saw the Lovington Lady Cats, it was here on a couple of nights ago, Friday night to be exact, as they took on the Hobbs Lady Eagles and the Lady Cats dropping that game by a final of 3-1. to one. Lovington did out-hit Hobbs in that game, 10 hits to 3, but a couple of big errors in that ball game was the big difference as Lovington left 10 runners stranded, not able to get timely hitting. So I'm sure that's something that they have been discussing since uh, since that game took place. Let's go ahead and give you the starting lineups for both of these squads for the visiting Cave Girls of Carlsbad. Batting first and playing center field will be Bianca Villa. Batting second is the second baseman, Paris Weldon. She's also their leading hitter. Batting third and playing in right field will be Kayla Chester. Batting in the cleanup spot and catching Kaylian Fuentes. Batting fifth and playing shortstop will be Hannah Sanders. Batting sixth is the third baseman Aubrey Hernandez batting seventh and playing in left field will be Allie Madrid. Batting eighth is the designated player Shea McAvoy. She's hitting in place of Karis Hernandez, the first baseman. And then in the number nine slot and catching will be number 12, Faith Rivera. The rest of the bench for the visiting Cave Girls will be number one, Katrina Ortega, number 14, Kendra Ortega, number two, Anna Hernandez, and number 10, Daisha Nieto. For your Lovington Lady Cats, leading things off and catching will be Anahi Quiroga, batting second and playing second, Honey Morales. Batting in the third slot and playing in right field will be Zabri Rodriguez. Batting fourth is the DP, Daphne Urahara. She'll be hitting in place of Sabri Sanchez, who gets the start in the ring. Batting fifth, playing center field, will be Zimmery Ellis. Batting in the sixth slot, playing third, will be Angelina Corral. Batting seventh is the shortstop, Layla Hernandez. Batting eighth and playing first, Jocelyn Olguin. And batting ninth is the left fielder, Bailey Garcia. The rest of the Lady Cats roster, number one, Pesha Gonzalez. Number 12, Braylon Hernandez. Number 16, Yaya Garcia. Number 19, Andrea Hernandez. Number 23, Johanna. Anna Ochoa and number 77, Jabri Rios. As the coaches are meeting at the plate, great to have you with us tonight here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com and the Z94 KZOR Facebook page. So a good crowd on hand for a Tuesday night affair here in Lovington. As we mentioned, the Lady Cats dropping their last game on Friday night against the Hobbs Lady Eagles. Carlsbad uh, losing a couple, a uh, doubleheader against Centennial. They lost the first game of that uh, twin bill 12-2 to and then lost 2-1 to to Centennial in a game that went 10 innings. Their other two losses for the Cave Girls this year have both come to Artesia. They were 1-2 and two against the Lady Bulldogs, who, of course, we'll be seeing quite a bit of later on in the season. Let's go ahead and take a timeout, and we will come back and set the defenses for you. This is your Stone Oil Field Services pregame show as Lady Wildcat softball continues in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. 
Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. When it comes to your hard-earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. And welcome back to your Stone Oil Field Services pregame show. Getting ready for the start of the Lady Cats against the Cave Girls from here at Lady Cat Field in Lovington. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Don Morgan just a little bit under the weather as the team's being introduced. Carlsbad in the road grays with the blue pinstripes and the blue letters and numbers. For your Lovington Lady Cats, they are wearing the home whites with the blue letters and numbers. And Wildcats, of course, in script on the front of the jerseys. So we gave you the starting lineups a minute ago. Let's go ahead and set them up for you in the field for the Lovington Lady Cats getting the start in the ring tonight. It'll be Sabri Sanchez Kidoga is her battery nature. Infield first to third will be Ogin Morales, Hernandez, and Corral. Your outfield from left to right will be Garcia, Ellis, and Rodriguez. For the visiting Cave Girls, Fuentes is in the ring. Rivera is her catcher. Hernandez, Weldon, Sanders and Hernandez around the infield first to third. Outfield left to right will be Madrid, Villa, and Chester. Great to have you with us this evening, wherever you are around southeast New Mexico, West Texas, and the world. Getting ready for this Easter week matchup. So hope you are doing well. Of course, uh, the Lovington boys were supposed to have a game tonight, but uh, that game was uh, canceled. Apparently, uh, Dexter not able to field the team this season, so that uh, game was canceled. We will have Lovington baseball for you coming up on Thursday as they'll be taking on Ruidoso, and we will have that for you here on your Lovington Sports YouTube channel. So the teams are out on the field getting ready for the start of the National Anthem. We'll wrap up your Stone Oil Field Services pregame show from Stone Oil Field Services. Stone Oil Field Services of course, proud supporters of all of your Wildcats and Lady Cat Athletics. Lady Cat Softball continues in a moment from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered, Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! And welcome back to Lovington Lady Cat Softball here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com and the Z94 
KZOR Facebook page. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Dawn Morgan just a little bit under the weather getting ready for this battle between the 6-2 and two Lady Cats and the 4-4 four and four Cave Girls. So in the ring for Lovington, it'll be Sabri Sanchez as she gets the start tonight. Sabri before I say that, let me double check my uh, my notes here. So yeah, Sabre did come on in relief in that loss against Hobbs, and she locked down the potent Lady Eagles going five innings in that ball game and giving up zero hits. So Sabre is in the ring and getting the start against a tough 5A opponent in the Cave Girls. Bianca Villa will lead things off for Coach Santos' squad. He'll be followed, she'll be followed by Paris Weldon and then Michaela Chester. Sanchez in the ring. Quiroga is the catcher. Olguin, Morales, Hernandez, and Corral around the infield from first to third. Garcia, Ellis, and Rodriguez in the outfield from left to right. So Villa, the lefty, will step in to start things off for the Cave Girls. Of course, the JV game happening before this, and Carlsbad getting the better of the Lady Cat JV 11-4, the final in that contest. The varsity squad hoping for a different result. So Villa will step into the left side box, gets right up close to the plate, and we are ready to go as Sabre will kick and fire. First pitch is swung on, and that one is going to be fouled down the left field line for a long strike one. So strike one the count, it is a no ball, one strike count. As Sanchez is in the ring, sorry Dusty, I cannot talk to you right now in the middle of my own ball game. So a no ball, one strike count. As Villa settles back in, Sabre has the sign, kicks and fires, swung on, and that'll be a little line shot that'll find its way through into center field. Charging up on it quickly is Ellis and getting it in, but just the little looper out to center for Villa, and she has the leadoff single. So a runner on for Carlsbad. Going to try and do damage early with Paris Weldon coming to the plate. Weldon the leading hitter, hitting just a skosh under 500 for these Cave Girls this season. So the righty second baseman will settle in with a runner at first. Olguin keeping an eye on her over there in the first pitch. Off speed from Sanchez is in there called strike one. Let me get my score bug back where it needs to be. There we go. So one on, nobody out, just underway, top of the first inning. As Kidoga down flashing the sign, Sanchez is ready. She'll kick and fire, and that one is going to be up, up, and away. Runner goes. Good throw down, and in time, burned her down via caught stealing two to six as Hernandez slaps the tag down and there is one away now and so that wipes off the leadoff single it's a 1-1 count at the plate to Weldon but Carlsbad getting a little aggressive there and it cost him Kidoga with a good arm and a good throw so the 1-1 count coming to Weldon in the wind and the pitch swung on and that one is heading to the tennis courts and that'll make it a one ball, two strike count. So one and two, the count outfield playing deep, about 55 degrees as we start this one this evening. Wind blowing out of the southwest of 20 miles an hour. Some gusts. We do have a chance of some rain later in this one. And the one, two, swung on and missed. Ring her up, sit her down as Kiroga will fire down to first as she bobbled it. But Weldon will go down on strikes, and there are two away for Carlsbad here in their half of the first. So two down, and now the number three hitter, Michaela Chester, will come to the plate. So Chester will step in with two down and nobody on. As Sanchez will deal, good fastball on the outside corner called strike one. So it's a no ball, one strike count. Top of the first inning, bases are clear. After Kiroga gunned down via and the pitch swung on. That'll be a little soft one, and Morales will handle it. Scoop it over to Olguin at first. Four to three for out number three. Not the most conventional one, two, three you will ever see, but it works. We've played a half inning. Carl's bad zero. Lovington coming to bat. Lady Cat softball continues in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. 
Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety. Caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services, in the top of the first inning, Carlsbad, no runs on one hit, no errors, and nobody left on base. We head to the bottom of the first, no score in this one. Leading it off for your Lady Cats, it'll be Anai Kiroga. It'll be followed by Honey Morales and then Zabri Rodriguez. That is one, two, three. Fuentes in the ring for the Cave Girls. Rivera is her catcher. Hernandez, Weldon, Sanders, and Hernandez around the infield, first to third. Madrid, Villa, and Chester from left to right. So thank you for the heads up there, Tiff. I will make adjustments on that as Kidoga will step in. So Anahi will lead things off for your Lovington Lady Cats as Fuentes ready to go, and she will rock and deal, and that one is going to be up and away and off the fencing for ball number one. So a one ball, no strike count. No score, bottom of the first. Kidoga leading it off. Carlsbad only playing about halfway back. Lovington has some bangers in this lineup. And the way the wind's blowing, if you get it up to left, it could get out of here. And the 1-0 is high for ball number two. So a two-ball, no-strike count. Kidoga at the plate. Honey Morales waits on deck. And then Zabri Rodriguez in the hole. Daphne Udahata is the cleanup hitter in this one, so not getting the start in the ring in the 2-0 pitch, and that one is going to be high. Good eye for Kidoga. And it's now a three-ball no-strike count. Infield playing much, pretty much their normal positions you would expect in softball. Hernandez may be shading in just a little bit at first. And so a 3-0 count. We'll see if Kidoga's got the green light if she gets something she wants, as Fuentes will deal, and that one is going to be up and away ball four. So a four-ball walk is Kidoga. Works the leadoff walk, and now Lovington in business here in the first. Honey Morales will step in. Honey coming off of the bench in that game against Hobbs on Friday night. Actually went in for Kidoga, and she went one for two in that ball game. So Morales will step in from the number two slot. Kidoga over at first, runs for herself in the first pitch, and that one is going to be up and away, ball number one. So one ball, no strike count here in the early going. Fuentes having a little bit of trouble finding the zone. I would bet that Coach McCraw is telling his girls, wait until she gives you something to hit, don't chase. So Morales settles back into the right side box. Fuentes checks on the wristband. And will deal the 1-0 pitch and showing bunt and laying that one down. It is a butte as getting to it quickly and tossing it over is Fuentes to Hernandez. It will move Kidoga over to second. Morales with the sack bunt is out one to three for out number one. But it puts a runner in scoring position. And that will bring Zabri Rodriguez to the plate. So Rodriguez getting the start in right field in this one. Zabri went two for four in the game against Hobbs. And so she'll settle in and get ready as Fuentes deals. Swung on and missed. Good pitch. And Zabri just a little bit behind that one for strike one. So an no ball one strike count. Runner at second. One down. Still no score. Bottom of the first inning. Kidoga looks in. Fuentes looks in. And now she'll deal. Swung on and that one is heading to the tennis courts. And so Zabry now trailing in the count. No balls and two strikes. So a no ball, two strike count. So the 0-2 count. Is now Zabry going to have to go into plate protection mode. Fuentes taking a long look in. Now Rivera ready. She sets up on the outside in the 0-2 pitch, and that one is going to sail up and away for ball one. 
Still a one ball, two strike count. In the outfield, only playing about three quarters of the way back. And pretty well straight away as Chester may be shading a touch towards the line over in right field. So a huge gap in right center. And the one two pitch swung on, and that one's back up into the netting. So the count will stay at one and two to Zabri Rodriguez. Daphne Utahata waits on deck. Daff is the designated player for today. Of course, congratulations to Utahata. Recently signing with Galveston College to continue her softball career, so congratulations to her. Quite a few of these Lady Cats are moving on after they graduate, and the 1-2 pitch swung on and getting a piece of that one, fighting off a good one. Zabry will stay alive, and the count stays at 1 and 2. Kidoga stands at second, worked the walk, and then moved over on the sack bunt by Honey Morales. And now Zabry Rodriguez is in a battle with Fuentes in the ring. So Fuentes ready to go, and the 1-2 pitch swung on and missed as... Fuentes runs a high one by Rodriguez for out number two. So the first strike out of the ball game for Fuentes, and that'll bring Utahata to the plate. So Daphne will step up. Daph got the start as the DP against Hobbs and went 0 for 3 in the ball game on Friday night. So hitting in the cleanup spot here this afternoon. Two outs, runner at second in the first pitch, and that one is up and away, and it's going to get away from Rivera, and that'll let Kiroga move over to third on the passed ball, and it'll be ball one to Utahata at the plate. I apologize for the score bug being a touch behind. So now a runner at third. Lovington going to try and cash in right here with their cleanup hitter, Utahata, at the plate. So Fuentes will deal the 1-0, and that one's up and away, and that one is going to get away from Rivera, but bounces off of the netting and right back to her. So not enough room for Kidoga to come in to score, but it will be ball two at the plate. So a two-ball, no-strike count. Two down, Carlsbad really not so worried about the runner at third. So Fuentes ready to go, and the 2-0 pitch on the way, swung on, and that one is popped back between the stands. Heads up, and it'll be strike one. So the two-ball, one-strike count. His maker pitch to you. We're going to beautiful evening, a little bit cool here on this 26th day of March, 2024. 55 degrees at first pitch, and it will drop quite a bit as we go through the evening time. Maybe some rain here in a little while. And the 2-1 delivery on the way, and that one's going to roll in. Nice job by Rivera to block out ball number three. But her blocking that out keeps Uta, keeps Kidoka stapled over at third. So now it's a three ball, one strike count. If Taft can find her way on, Zimmerielis waits on deck. So Fuentes has what she wants sitting up inside is Rivera. The 3-1 delivery on the way. Took something off of that one, and Utahata well out in front of strike two, and that will run the count full to Daphne. Coach McCraw hollering, time your pitch, find your pitch. Lovington with a runner at third, two down. Trying to move her around. Rivera checks on the wrist, and now she's ready to go, and the payoff pitch, and that one swung on and missed. And Utahata goes down swinging for back-to-back -back K's and out number three. So Lovington threatens but comes up empty in their half of the first inning. We've played one here at Lady Cat Field. No score as Lady Cat softball continues in a moment from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. 
Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Back here at Lady Cat Field in the bottom of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one runner left on for the Lady Cats. We head to the second, and up first for Carlsbad, it'll be Kaylee and Fuentes, followed by Hannah Sanders, and then Aubrey Hernandez. It is four, five, and six due up for the Cave Girls. I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us on this Tuesday evening from here in Lovington, New Mexico, as we are ready to go top of the second inning. As Sabri Sanchez in the ring for Lovington. She'll deal to the Cave Girls cleanup hitter, and it'll be upstairs for ball number one. Number one ball, no strike count. As Fuentes, the pitcher for the Cave Girls, would like to help her own cause here in the next pitch, and that one is going to be at the letters on the outside corner, and that'll even things up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Outfield playing deep. Field pretty much normal position. The one-one pitch as Sanchez runs one a little bit further outside, and the ump says, "Nope, don't think so." Both pitchers still kind of trying to establish the strike zone a little bit. But you get that with every official, every ump has a little bit different zone. And the 2-1 delivery swung on and missed as nice job as Sanchez takes a little bit off of that one and evens the count at two balls and two strikes. So the two-ball, two-strike count to Fuentes leading things off for the Cave Girls here in their half of the second. The 2-2 pitch swung on. That one has popped up over on the right side. I think it's going to get out of play, and it will just behind the Lovington dugout. So we'll reset this one at 2-2. Two and two. Hope you're having a great evening. And so a two-ball, two-strike count. Sanchez looks in, kicks and fires, swung on, and Fuentes gets a piece of that one and drills it back into the padding. And so the count will stay at two balls and two strikes. So the two-ball, two-strike count. Ana Sanders waits on deck. 2-2 pitch on the way, swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side. Could be playable, and it is, as Corral comes over and makes the stab in foul territory right in front of the Carlsbad dugout. So the pop-up is one away now here in the top half of the second. So one down, and that'll be Hannah Sanders, the shortstop to the plate. Sanders with some power. I believe she is their leading home run hitter so far in the early going, and that one nips the outside corner called strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. Aubrey Hernandez waits on deck. Sanchez will kick and fire, a little off-speed pitch that drifts up and in, and the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So it's a one ball, one strike count. Top of the second inning, one down, nobody on. And the 1-1 pitch, and that one goes outside on the fastball. Sanders thought about it, but held off. And it'll be ball two. So the two ball, one strike count. Sanchez doesn't take much time. When she's ready to go, she checks and goes. And the 2-1 pitch, and that one is going to be just off the outside corner. Kenoga tried to frame it up. The ump didn't buy it. And so that'll run the count to three balls and a strike. So the three ball, one strike count. Sanders back in, slightly open stance. 3-1 pitch swung on, and that one is going to be drilled over the head of Coach Santos in the third base coaching box and over his head and caroms out into right field. But it'll just be a long, loud strike number two. Sanders is waiting on that one and turned on it. So the full count now to the number five hitter for the Cave Girls. Sanders ready, Sanchez ready, kicks and fires, swung on, and that's a hard shot over to third. Corral handles it, fires across the diamond to Olgeen in plenty of time to get the speedy Sanders five to three for out number two. That was a rocket shot 
but Corral right in the right spot to just stab it and then casually toss it over to first. So now two down, and that'll bring Aubrey Hernandez to the plate. Sanchez ready to go, kicks and fires, swung on. That one will be popped up over on the left side of the infield. Coming in on it is Hernandez and gets the pop out for out number three. So the Cave Girls go one, two, three in their half of the second. After an inning and a half, no score. Lovington Lady Cat softball continues in a moment from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the products you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. The Cave Girls go 1-2-3 in the top of the second. We head to the bottom of the second, leading it off for the Lady Cats. It'll be Zimmery Ellis. She'll be followed by Angelina Corral and then Layla Hernandez. Five, six, and seven do up for the Lady Cats. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday evening. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Don Morgan a little bit under the weather as Ellis, the center fielder, will step in. And Fuentes ready to go in the first pitch, and that one is going to run inside. A little fancy footwork for Zimmery getting out of the way of that low and in pitch. And it will be ball number one. So one ball, no strike count. As Ellis will settle back in, Rivera flashes the signs. Fuentes ready to go, and she will deal the 1-0 pitch, and that one is going to be just low for ball number two. Pretty good fastball there, but a little bit low. So a two-ball, no-strike count, just underway, bottom of the second, no score in this one between your third-ranked Lovington Lady Cats from 4A and your sixth-ranked Carlsbad Cave Girls from 5A and the 2-0 pitch, and that one is going to come inside and a late break, kind of a back break on that one, and hit the corner for strike one. If you can control a pitch like that, it can be deadly. A right-handed pitcher with one that can break in on a right-handed batter. That's not something you see every day. And the 2-1 pitch swung on and missed as Fuentes rears back and runs the fastball by Ellis. And the count will even up at two balls and two strikes. So the two-ball, two-strike count. As Ellis will step back in. Ellis went one for four in the game against Hobbs, and she'll pop that one out of play. So the count will stay at two balls and two strikes. Of course, Lovington falling against Hobbs on Friday night, three to one, but out hit the Lady Eagles ten to three. But a couple of crucial errors in the early innings, the difference in that one. So a two ball, two strike count. Fuentes with the washing machine action then comes in, swung on, and that'll be a hard shot to center field, but hardly having to move at all is Via. She takes about three steps over towards the hole in left center, puts her glove up, and makes the out. So the fly out to center, and there is one down, as that will bring Angelina Corral to the plate. Corral, the third baseman for these Lady Cats. Angelina had kind of a rough go against Hobbs. She went 0 for 4. Then looking to get back on the horse and see if she can tag one on the Cave Girls here. Rivera sets up outside in the first pitch. Fastball swung on, and that one is drilled into the chain link between home and the on-deck circle where Layla Hernandez waits. And it's a no-ball, one-strike count. Fuentes will retake the rubber, sets up on the first base side of the rubber pretty consistently. And the 0-1 pitch, and whoop, that one kind of hung up a little bit and went sailing. 
Well, that'll be ball number one. That'll happen sometimes. Just comes out of the hand funny and sails on you a little bit. Nobody on. No harm. No foul. And not a lot of room behind the backstop here at Lady Catfield. Catchers can definitely play the, the bounce and the caroms, especially with base runners on. And the 1-1 pitch, and that one is going to be a fastball. A riser that goes out of the zone for ball number two. So the two-ball, one-strike count. Hernandez at third, playing pretty well even with the bag. Hernandez at first, maybe a step or two in down the line. Sanders and Weldon back in the middle infield, almost at the grass. And the 2-1 delivery on the way, and that one's going to come low and in for ball number three. So it's a three-ball, one-strike count. Corral will step out, now step back in. Coach McCraw just telling her, find your pitch. And the 3-1 delivery, and that one is going to come inside corner, called strike two as that one locked Corral up. And that will run the count full to Angelina. Then it's a three ball, two strike count, full count as Fuentes will deal the payoff pitch swung on and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side of the infield and running over and making the grab, almost a collision between Fuentes and Hernandez, but Fuentes will stab that one. So two up, two down for your Lady Cats on the pop out. And there's two down, now it'll be Layla Hernandez to the plate. Layla, the shortstop for Lovington. Layla one for three against Hobbs. And so she'll step in to face Fuentes with two down in the first pitch and a good one. And Fuentes runs the fastball by Layla, strike one. It was right at the top of the zone. It's one of them Layla catches up to. Might not land till it gets to Denver City. So an 0 1 count as Fuentes ready to deal. She'll come home, and that one is going to be low. Right down the heart of the plate, but low. Good eye for Hernandez, and it evens the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Fuentes a little bit more deliberate in the ring than a lot of the pitchers we see. Not necessarily a bad thing, just a little bit different. And the 1-1 pitch, and that one is going to run low and in as Rivera snaps it up and tries to frame it. Ump says, nope, don't think so. And it's ball two. Oh, a 2-1 count. Two down for Lovington here in the bottom of the second. No score yet in this one. So Fuentes will deal the 2-1. Swung on and missed. Just took a little bit off of that one, and Layla right in front of it. And the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bottom of the second inning. A lot of twos up there, but no score yet. Rivera down, setting up. She'll set up on the inside, and the 2-2 pitch, and that one's going to sail high, ball three. So that'll run the count full for back-to-back -back hitters. Third full count worked by the Lady Cats against Fuentes, but still looking for their first hit of the night. Only one base runner. Kiroga worked the walk in the first. Fuentes ready to deal, and the payoff pitch swung on and missed. Strike three as down goes Hernandez. Third K of the ball game for Fuentes. We've played two. No score in this one as Lovington Lady Cat softball continues in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! When it comes to your hard-earned money, Selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. 
Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. The Lady Cats go one, two, three in their half of the second. We go to the third, no score in this one. Between your Lady Cats and the Cave Girls of Carlsbad, it'll be seven, eight, nine, Madrid, McAvoy, and Rivera due up for Carlsbad here in their half of the third. I'm TJ Miracle. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Sitting again for Don Morgan, a little bit under the weather. So Madrid will step in and settle in, and Sanchez ready to go in the first pitch is a changeup, and it'll be out of the zone for ball number one. No one ball, no strike count, no score in this one. Of course, Lovington still looking to get on the board. So is Carlsbad. 1-0 pitch, and that one is going to be high for ball number two. Of course, both these teams still gearing up for district. It'll be here before you know it. It's Carlsbad in the same district as Hobbs. Perennial champions in that district. The 2-1, 2-0, and that one is hit high in the air. Out to Garcia. Doesn't even have to move as Bailey just puts the glove up and says, all right, I'll get that one. And right at Garcia, and it'll be a pop-out to left field for one away. So one down. As now Shane McAvoy, the designated player, will step in. McAvoy with the big open stance sets up at the front of the box, and the first pitch is in there, catches the inside corner. Good pitch from Sanchez, and that'll be strike number one. Usually a pretty good pitch for Sanchez. Get a little movement right on the inside corner, and the 0-1 tries it again, and that one took something off of it. Dives into the dirt and evens the count at one and one. Trying to get a chaser on that one. Good eye for the DP McAvoy. Didn't fall for it. Outfield deep, infield pretty much their normal positions. And the one one on the way from Sanchez and Kiroga pops it in, but it's up and away for ball number two. So the two ball, one strike count. Sanchez and Kiroga are your battery. Olguin, Morales, Hernandez, Corral around the infield, first to third. Garcia, Ellis, Rodriguez, outfield, left to right. 2-1 on the way, swung on, and that one is going to be hammered. Foul out of play. That one's heading over towards the JV gym. It's a good thing McAvoy didn't get that one straightened out. And it evens the count at 2-2. Two and two. He was sitting back waiting on that changeup. Now Sabre ready to go again, 2-2 pitch, and that one is going to be... Just off the outside corner, ball three. There's the Wildcat faithful. Normally I'd say the blue clad faithful, but everybody's in blue. Wildcat faithful. Kind of the collective groan, collective sigh of relief from Carlsbad. And the payoff pitch swung on. That one is going to be popped up over on the right side. Could be trouble, and it is going to fall just in front of Rodriguez. Got a hand on it, but couldn't get it. She'll fire it in quickly but not in time to get the speedy McAvoy. So, I think just because of where that one was out in no woman's land, we're going to go ahead and make that a double. That'll be the second end of the ball game for Carlsbad, and now it'll be Faith Rivera to ste who steps in. And so Carlsbad has their first runner in scoring position. Sanchez ready to go. One out, runner on, and that one is going to be a fastball on the outside corner called strike one to the number nine hitter. So an no ball, one strike count. Rivera will settle back in. Savory sets up on the third base side of the rubber, and the 0-1 pitch took something off of that when it bounces in front of Kidoga. Keeps it in front of her, and then keeps McAvoy at second. It'll be a called ball one. So a one ball, no strike count. Second hit of the evening for Carlsbad. And they've got their first girl in scoring position. And the 1-1 pitch, and that one is going to be up and away for ball number two. So the two ball, one strike count. And timeout as Kid Oga wants to go out and have a quick word with Sanchez, just try and settle things down. While we've got a moment, big thanks to all of our great sponsors. You're hearing them. You see them there at the bottom of your screen. Be sure that you... Thank those sponsors and do business with them. They make it possible for us to bring you Lovington Lady Cat and Wildcat Sports absolutely free of charge. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel while we're at it. We'll talk more about that later. And the 2-1 pitch swung on, and that one is fouled up and into the screening on the left side. And the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. Bianca Villa waits on deck. The leadoff hitter for the Cave Girls. So a two-ball, two-strike count. Sanchez deals, and that one swung on, and that one into pretty much the same spot in the screening as Rivera has to reach out and poke that one to stay alive right on the edge of the strike zone. So she's protecting the plate. That's what you got to do. As Avery just trying to pitch out of a little bit of a jam here in the third. No score, but a runner in scoring position. So she'll take a long look at the at the wristband and deal the 2-2 swung on and that one is heading to the parking lot. Please don't hit the white Toyota. And we'll stay at two balls and two strikes. So the two ball, two strike count. Next up here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel Thursday afternoon. We'll be across the way a bit over at Wildcat Park. Lovington baseball against Rodoso. But of course tonight here we are at Lady Cat Field as the Lady Cats taking on the Carlsbad Cave Girls. Top of the third, no score. And a 2-2 count to the number nine hitter Rivera at the plate. And the pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side. Garcia comes over and will make the grab and tosses in quickly. And that will keep McAvoy stapled over at second. And so the deep fly out to left. And there's two down now for the Cave Girls. So that'll turn their lineup over for the first time tonight. And now Bianca Villa to the plate. Villa singled to center her last time up and then was caught stealing. And a great throw out from Kidoga to Hernandez. And the first pitch to Villa, that one is going to be popped up over on the left side. Could be trouble. Garcia makes a nice adjustment out there as the wind kind of caught that one a little. She started over to her left and had to come back right and makes the grab for out number three. So the Cave Girls put a lady in scoring position but can't move her around after two and a half innings. No score in this one as Lady Cat softball continues from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base for Carlsbad in the top of the third. We head to the bottom of the third. It'll be 8-9-1, and one, due up for Lovington, Jocelyn Olguin, Bailey Garcia, and Anahi Kiroga. Welcome into Lady Cat Field. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Don Morgan just a little bit under the weather, so Olguin will lead things off here for the Lady Cats in their half of the third inning. Still no score in this one you would expect with two top 10 tier teams in the land of enchantment. As Fuentes still in the ring, she'll deal to Kid Ogun. He takes a big cut at that one, fouls it off for strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. You can tell the temperature's starting to drop just a little bit. A lot of folks bundling up out there. Seeing the blankets and the hoodies come out. So Fuentes gets her sign, is ready to go. And the 0-1 pitch as Kidoga waves at a high fastball. And that'll run the count to no balls and two strikes. Lovington has had trouble catching up with the high heat from Fuentes through the first two plus. Well, they figure out, though, it could start becoming a very long night for Fuentes. So Rivera going to set up on the outside. Now comes to the outside, and that one is going to be high. Kidoga holds off on the riser, ball one. So a one ball, two strike count. 
Kidoga Garcia, or pardon me, Olguin Garcia and Kidoga. I'll get it fixed, I promise. I said I'm looking at one and saying another. So Olguin settles back in a one ball, two strike count. And the one two pitch, and that one is going to be low as Rivera tries to snap it up. The man in blue says, nope, don't think so. And. The count evens up at two balls and two strikes. So the 2-2 count, Olguin, Garcia, Kidoga do up for the Lady Cats. And this one's knotted up at nothing, nothing in the third. Fuentes will deal the 2-2, swung on and missed, got her with the changeup. It's Jocelyn out in front of that one, and that'll be the fourth K of the ball game for Fuentes, and there is one down for Lovington here in the bottom of the third. So that'll be Bailey Garcia to the plate. Garcia had a busy top half of the third inning. Matter of fact, she recorded all three Carl's bad outs out in left field. So now she'll step in and try and have a busy half inning from the dish. As Fuentes ready to go, the washing machine motion, and she'll deal to Garcia, and that one is up and away for ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. Well, the one ball, no strike count, one down. Garcia, the left fielder, settles in, slightly open stance. Now she opens it a little bit wider. And Fuentes will deal the 1-0, and that one is going to be low for ball number two. Then the two ball, no strike count. Lovington looking for their first base runner since the leadoff hitter. They have gone down in order seven in a row since then. Fuentes ready, and will deal the 2-0, and that one is going to be just off the outside corner. Ball three, good eye for Garcia. And so now a 3-0 count. We'll have to see if Coach McCraw going to give Garcia the green light if she gets one run up there. He sometimes will. As Fuentes will deal the 3-0, and that one will be a fastball on the inside corner called strike one. I think Garcia probably taken all the way on that one. Then it'll be a 3-0 count. Chester playing well over towards the line in right field. Everybody else pretty much straight up. As Fuentes goes into the line and the 3-0, and that one is inside ball four as Garcia Works the one-out walk, and Lovington will have their second base runner of the ball game as Bailey heads down to first. So that'll turn the lineup over to Kidoga. Kidoga worked the four-pitch walk to lead the game off. Anai so will settle into the right side box with Garcia standing at first. Coach DePorto making sure that Bailey knows exactly what he's thinking and exactly what they need to do. And the first pitch to Kidoga, and that one is going to be at the knees on the outside corner. Good pitch called strike one. So no ball, one strike count. Carlsbad may be thinking double play back in the middle of the infield looking for something hit hard. Kidoga can definitely hit them hard. All these Lady Cats can in the 0-1 pitch, and that one going to sail, and that one is going to get away from Rivera. And on the passed ball, well, that one was rising. I think we'll call that one a wild pitch. So that will move Garcia down to second, and it'll even the count on Kidoga at a ball and a strike. So a one ball, one strike count. Lady Cats now with a runner in scoring position and less than two outs. Second time they've done that this game. 1-1-2 one, one, Kidoga, and that one is going to fly away, and Garcia on the horse is going to head over to third on another wild pitch. And so now Lovington has the potential go-ahead run just 60 feet away. And it's a 2-1 count to Kidoga at the plate. So Kidoga settles back in as Rivera down in her crouch flashes out the signs. Fuentes ready to go and the 2-1 pitch swung on and missed. Took something off of that one as Kidoga goes over the top of the changeup. Maybe the first three or rather two and a third. Well, Wintas doesn't go to that change up a lot, but it has been effective when she's used it. So with two ball, two strike count, Kidoga digs in. And the 2-2 pitch swung on as Kidoga gets a piece of that one, fouls it back to the screen. 
So the count will stay at two balls and two strikes. Garcia stands at third. Worked the 3-1 walk and then moved to second on a wild pitch. Moved to third on a wild pitch. So one out, a runner at third. Second time the Lady Cats have had a runner at third in the ball game. Haven't been able to cash them in yet. And the 2-2 pitch from Fuentes swung on and missed as she got her with the changeup. That'll be her fifth K of the ball game as Kidoga slams the bat down. So now two down as Honey Morales will step to the plate. Honey with the sack bunt her last time up, so she's 0 for 0. So she'll step in with two outs and a runner at third. Honey, one of the more consistent hitters on this Lady Cat team. And the first pitch, and Morales, that one is going to be on the outside corner at the letters. Good fastball, strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. Again, Chester playing well over towards the line and right. Huge hole in right center. You could get something with a little power out there. It's going to roll a long way. 0-1-1, Morales at the plate as Fuentes will deal, and that one is going to go up and away. Rivera has to come up out of the crouch and goes with the ball. Keeps it in her glove, and that keeps Garcia stapled at third. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. Though the one ball, one strike count. Pretty good crowd on hand here tonight for a chilly Tuesday evening. After spring break, going into Easter, the 1-1 pitch, check swing. Did Honey hold it up? And they asked for an appeal. I ain't going to get it. It'll be high for ball number two. She held it up. So it'll be a two-ball, one-strike count. Morales can find a way on. Zabri Rodriguez waits on deck. So a two-ball, one-strike count as Wint has taken a long time, looks at the wristband again. And now she'll deal the 2-1, and that one is going to go away for ball three. So the three ball, one strike count. But honey, you've got to know the take sign is not on. She can get it in her wheelhouse. She'll swing at anything. So a three ball, one strike count. Fuentes is going to have to concentrate on getting a strike in there unless she wants to move to Zabri. And the 3-1 delivery, and that one is going to be up high for ball four. And Honey waiting until the ump said, yep, it was high. So now Lady Cats at the corners, and Zabri Rodriguez to the plate. The box, Zabri, Rodriguez. Zabri will step in, and she's going to get some quick words of encouragement from Coach McCraw. Flashes the signs out at her, and she'll check the wristband. So now Lady Cats at the corners with two down. The wind starts picking up just a little bit out of the south, moving a little bit more in, but still right to left. Zabry struck out her last time up, but now Lady Katz at the corners. So Wintes will deal, and the first pitch runs the fastball by her, strike one. Oh, no ball, one strike count. As Coach DePorto going to ask for time, he wants to talk to Zabry. So while we've got a moment, like to say, Thank you again to all of our great sponsors. See them there at the bottom of your screen. You hear their ads. Be sure you support those businesses that support your Lovington Wildcats and Lady Cats in these broadcasts. And make sure that we don't have to charge you like the, uh, the state does and like a lot of schools are starting to do now. Also, we don't have to ask for donations or anything because of those great sponsors. We appreciate their support bringing you the Wildcats and Lady Cats. So an 1 count after the meeting with Coach DePorto as Zabry digs back in. And the 0-1 pitch, and that one's going to be in the dirt and rolling. Rivera blocks it out. And it evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Morales with pretty good speed over at first. Can't think that Carlsbad would be too worried about the runner at first. Of course, with Zabry over there, a good hit will get anybody in. And the 1-1 pitch, and she it takes a hack and an inside fastball. And now it'll be a one-ball, two-strike count. So the 1-2 count, no score here in the third. Two outs, but Lovington threatening Lady Cats at the corners. Zabry chokes up a little on the bat, opens up the stance. Going to go into plate protection mode. 
And Fuentes deals the one, two, swung on and missed as Zabry goes down swinging for the second time. 6K of the ball game for Fuentes, who gets in a little bit of a jam but then pitches her way out of it. We head to the fourth. No score. Lovington Lady Cat softball continues here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Z94 Facebook page. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Fuel Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Fuel Services, Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! The Lady Cats threaten in the bottom of the third, but come up empty. No runs, no hits, no errors, and they leave two runners on base. We head to the fourth inning. No score. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Don Morgan a little bit under the weather. So through three innings for Carlsbad, no runs on two hits, no errors committed, and they've left one runner stranded for Lovington. No runs, no hits, no errors. And they have left three on. It'll be two, three, and four. Weldon, Chester, and Fuentes do up for the Cave Girls as we get this fourth inning underway. Sanchez still in the ring, and she'll fire the first one outside for ball one. Weldon, a strikeout victim her last time up, is 0 for 1. Geroga relays the signs out to Sanchez. She's ready to go. And the pitch swung on, and that one is heading out to the parking lot. Evens the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count just underway here in this top of the fourth inning. Still no score, a tight one here between the Cave Girls and the Lady Cats. And the 1-1 one, one pitch, and that one is going to draw, come in high and outside, I should say, for ball number two. So it's a two-ball, one-strike count. Sabri will check the wristband, and she'll deal the 2-1. Swung on in. That one is heading out to the parking lot, and it'll even the count at a two balls and two strikes. So the two-ball, two-strike count, top of the fourth inning. Paris, Chester, and Fuentes, 2-3 and 4, do up for the Cave Girls. There's a defensive battle in this one so far. And the pitch swung on, and that is a hard shot. Corral dives over, gets it, comes up firing it. Not in time to get the speedy Weldon. But Corral, everything she could do to get to that one, it'll be the infield single. But Corral, he doesn't stab that one. It is at least a double. The Weldon, not the top hitter for the Cave Girls for nothing. So now runner at first with nobody out, and it'll bring the number three hitter, Michaela Chester, to the plate. Chester grounded out to Morales to in the first, and the first pitch to her is up high for ball number one. So a one ball, no strike count. With a runner at first, it'll be the speedy second baseman, Weldon. Savory looks, fires, and showing bunt and getting a piece of that one, and she got a, I thought she tipped it. If it was a foul tip, she's got to go back to first, but I think they're going to say she missed it completely, and so it'll be a stolen base for Weldon. I thought she got a piece of it, but the umpire didn't see it that way, and coaches aren't uh, aren't barking, so. so it'll be a one ball, one strike count, and then the stolen base for Weldon, and the pitch, check swing, she went around, yes, ma'am, strike number two. And now the one ball, two strike count. Is Kidoga going to call time and draw in the infield? They just want to make sure they know what's going on with a 1-2 count and a runner in scoring position. Less than, well, in this case, no outs, but less than two outs. They just want to make sure they know what they need to be doing. 
This is one of those situations where you'd like to get the strikeout. Sanchez is not an overwhelming strikeout pitcher. He usually pitches to weak contact. But she'd like a strikeout here if she could get it. And the one-two pitch, and that one is the riser that Chester holds off on, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. So the two-ball, two-strike count. Lovington's outfield playing pretty deep. And Rodriguez shading a little over towards the line and right. 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on, and that one will be a chopper. Corral gets it, checks on the runner, and then comes over and back across the diamond, but not in time to get the speedy Weldon. And so Chester will be out 5-3 to three with Weldon moving over to third on the play. So one down now. And that'll bring Kaylian Fuentes to the plate. She popped out to Corral to start the second inning, but now Fuentes, the pitcher, with a golden opportunity to help her own cause here. The one out, but a runner at third. A bit of a jam for the Lady Cats. First one, and that's a hard shot. Going to find its way through between third and short. That will play one as Garcia gets to it quickly, but it'll be an RBI single for Fuentes as the Cave Girl pitcher will put the first notch on the board for the Cave Girls with a hard single out to right. So the RBI single to right, and Carlsbad will take the one to nothing lead. We will have a courtesy runner coming to the ball game. She is wearing a hoodie, so I do not know who that is. So we cannot see the number. And so that'll bring Hannah Sanders to the plate, Sanders. Grounded out to Corral back in the second. She is 0 for 1. But Carlsbad taking advantage of a leadoff single and then a stolen base and then another single to tally the first run of the ball game. So now Sanders will step in and the first pitch runs inside ball number one. Sanders having to get out of the way of that one. So one ball, no strike count. If you're Lovington, you just want to try and limit the damage here. They'd like to get one hit pretty hard right at one of the middle infielders. 1-0 pitch swung on, and that one is hit high in the air to deep center field. That is going back, 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 and just watching that one sail is Ellis as Sanders parks the two-run blast to straightaway center. And Carlsbad will notch a couple more on the board. They get their crooked number, and they will take the 3 to nothing lead over the Lady Cats. On the bright side, it does clear out the bases for the third baseman, Aubrey Hernandez. As Coach McCraw going to come out, have a word with his infield and Sanchez. I think he just wants to try and settle things down, or will that do it for Sabre? She pitched good through the first three plus, but she's given up three hits in this inning to four batters, and three runs have come across. Bill McCraw taking his time. Of course, while we have a moment, don't forget coming up Thursday night just across the athletic complex here in Lovington. We will have the Lovington Wildcat boys from Wildcat Park. They'll be taking on the Rudoso Warriors. Not a, not a district game anymore, but one of those long-time rivalry matchups. We'll have that for you starting about 4.15 on Thursday afternoon right here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. So one down, base is clear, and the first pitch is going to be in there. Called strike one to Hernandez. I'm a no-ball one-strike count. Let's see if Sanchez can settle it down here and limit it to just a three-run inning. The 0-1, and that one is going to sail high right at the top of the zone for strike two. Getting ready to call that ball one, but the way it was rising came up through the zone. So a no ball, two strike count. Now Sanchez will deal, and that one is going to be up and away, ball one. So the one ball, two strike count. Outfield again deep. Wind starting to gust just a little bit. Swung on. And Hernandez gets a piece of that one back to the chain link, and so she'll stay alive at one ball and two strikes. No, the one ball, two strike count. And 
And the one-two pitch swung on, and that one is going to be in the air over on the right side. Charging in is Rodriguez, and she will make the grab for out number two. So fly out to right. So two down now for the Cave Girls. Next up for the Lovington Girls. They'll be on the road this weekend. A double bill down at Gadsden. They'll take on Gadsden and Santa Teresa. And the first pitch to Madrid, and that one is going to miss outside for ball number one. So a one ball, no strike count. Our next broadcast for the Lady Cats will actually be April the 5th as they welcome the Boleyn Lady Eagles. And the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that was a hard shot on the ground, but foul down the third baseline. And evens the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Lady Cats trailing three to nothing. Carlsbad has put their crooked number up this inning. They got three. Now Lovington's trying to get out of it with no more damage done. The one-one pitch and the changeup gets Madrid well out in front of strike number two. The one ball, two strike count. Madrid going to try and keep the line moving for Carlsbad. And the one-two delivery, and that one is going to just miss low and away. And evens things up at two and two. Sorry about the little glitch on the scorebook there. I hit the wrong button. You know, it always helps to hit the right button. So the two ball, two strike count. Sanchez ready. Kiroga sets in the pitch. Fastball, and that one is on the outside corner. Yes, ma'am. Ring her up and sit her down. That is the second K of the ball game for Sanchez. But the damage is done as Carlsbad plates three. After three and a half, it's Carlsbad three. Lovington trying to come back as Lady Cat softball continues from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. For Carlsbad, they get three runs on three hits. No errors committed by Lovington and nobody left on base. Highlighted by the two-run blast to center for Hannah Sanders. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Lovington trailing three to nothing. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight as Daphne Utahata will lead it off. Then Zimmery Ellis and Angelina Corral. It is four, five, and six due up for the Lady Cats. Through three plus, the Lady Cats have stranded three, and they have yet to get a hit off of Fuentes in the ring. So now Daphne going to try and change that one as Utahata settles into the right side box. Fuentes will deal the fastball on the outside corner just low for ball one. And a one ball, no strike count. Outfield playing again about half, well, about three quarters of the way back. Fuentes will deal to Utahata, the 1-0 pitch, and that one's going to be low and in, ball number two. So the 2-0 and count. Fuentes hasn't given up any hits, but she has walked three. And then she struck out six. And the 2-1 delivery on the way from Fuentes swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side of the infield. Wind grabs it and takes it away from Hernandez. As Gust caught that one, Hernandez couldn't adjust to it quite quick enough, and so Daff dodges a bit of a bullet right there, and it'll be a two-ball, one-strike count. So got under that one and just popped it straight up, and the wind helping on that one. 
So Udahata will step back in, live to see at least one more pitch. And the 2-1 to delivery. Fuentes taking her time again as the little wind dust kicks up. And the 2-1 pitch, and that one sails away, ball three. In the case Fuentes might should have thought about stepping off the rubber and waiting for that gust to die down a little bit. But she did choose to go ahead and deal. Of course, in our part of the world, you just have to deal with the wind. Same in Carlsbad as it is here in, in Lovington. And the 3-1 pitch to Utahata, and that one is right down the pipe. His staff kind of shakes the bat like, Ugh. yep, no, she probably should have uncorked on that one. She may not see a better pitch than that all season. It'll run the count full to Utahata, leading it off. Ellis waits on deck. Corral is in the hole. Utahata back in. Fuentes ready, and the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed as Utahata goes down swinging for the second time tonight. And there is one down for the Lady Cats here in this bottom of the fourth inning. That'll be Zimmery Ellis. Ellis flew out to deep center her last time up. She is 0 for 1. So temperatures are dropping here. The, a lot of the girls have, were wearing sleeves to start with, but are putting on jackets now. Don't blame them. Wish I'd have brought a little heavier one. And the first pitch to Ellis. Check swing. Yep, she went around. Strike one. Ump right on top of that one and says, yep, broke the plane. So it's an open one strike count. Ellis out. Now she's back in. Uses the open stance. So Wintez does the little side to side before she goes into the windmill motion. And that one sails high for ball number one. So it'll be a one ball, one strike count. One down here in the bottom of the fourth. Lovington trailing three to nothing. Coach McCraw going to try and get his Lady Cats back in this one down by three. And the 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, and Emery shoots that one back into the screen for strike two. A one ball, two strike count. Of course, as we mentioned, a weekend twin bill down in the El Paso area, the Anthony area for Lovington. Our next broadcast will actually be after April turns. And the one-two pitch swung on, and Ellis gets a piece of that one right off the fists and shoots it foul off the netting in front of the Cave Girls dugout. So the count stays one and two. So we'll be back with the girls on April the 5th and a doubleheader on the 6th. Belen on the 5th and then the doubleheader against Valencia on the 6th and swung on and missed and Ellis goes over the top of that one. Strike three, back-to-back -back K's for Fuentes. That's her 8th strike out of the ball game and now Angelina Corral to the plate. Corral 0 for 1. Popped out back to Fuentes in the 2nd. Fuentes has done a pretty nice job of shutting down pretty potent Lovington bats. So now two down, nobody on in the first pitch. A pie to Angelina, ball number one. No one ball, no strike count. A little work going on in the Lovington pen. We may see a relief pitcher come on. 1-0 and coming over the top of one that I think would have been inside. And leaving things up at a ball and a strike to Corral. Still got outs to work with. You don't have to, don't have to press. You can't get it all in one swing with nobody on. And the one one, and that one is going to be outside ball number two. So it's a two ball and one strike count. There are two down. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Carlsbad with a three run fourth leads three to nothing. No, Lovington trying to get it back. But Wintes checks on the wristband. Rivera sets up in the middle in the 2-1 pitch, and that one is going to sail high for ball number three. So now a three ball and one strike count. If you're Lovington, you need base runners. If you're Carlsbad, you want to just keep mowing them down. 
Oh, the three ball, one strike count. Rivera takes her time. Now the windmill and the 3-1 pitch swung on and missed as Lovington has not caught up to that high fastball yet tonight. And it runs the count full. Very effective pitch for Fuentes. Probably four of her eight strikeouts she's gotten on that very same pitch. Let's see if she comes right back to it. And the payoff pitch, and that one fought off the fists and foul right down the right field line. Stays in play as Chester goes over and corrals it and will toss it back in. So we'll reset at three and two. Do up for Carlsbad in their half of the fifth. They'll have eight, nine, and one do up. Lovington would like to make sure that doesn't happen for a while. But it all starts with Corral and the payoff pitch swung on, and that's a hard shot right back up the middle, and that's going to find its way through as Angelina Corral gets the Lady Cats' first hit of the ball game, and she drills one right back through the ring for the two-out single. And so that'll bring Layla Hernandez to the plate, and actually we're going to have a pinch hitter for Layla as Yaya Garcia going to come in to hit. So Garcia going to come in to pinch hit for Layla. So let's see what Yaya can do as she jams out a little bit to her walk-up music. Using Shake It For Me, Luke Bryan as her walk-up song. The country DJ in me appreciates that. So Yaya will step in as Fuentes will deal. The first pitch fought off the hands and shot foul. Yaya, big swing at it, but just a little bit behind it. Strike one. Garcia with quite a bit of power. And Coach McCraw, I have a feeling, playing a hunch there. Yaya settles back in. Runner at first is Corral after the single. And the 0-1 delivery from Fuentes is that one and a snap throw down to first. Not going to be in time as paying attention over there is Corral who gets back safely. It's ball one at the plate to Garcia. Garcia can find her way on. O'Gean waits on deck. It's a runner at first, two outs, a 1-1 count. It's Fuentes deals and swung on and missed. Took something off of that one and Garcia out in front of the changeup. So now down in the count. One ball and two strikes. So the one-two count. Lovington down 3-0, trying to get a two-out rally going. Rivera sets up outside, the one-two pitch swung on, and that one is hit high in the air to shallow left field, and that one is going to fall foul. Big chase there for Madrid, couldn't get to it in time. So Yaya will head back into the batter's box. Coach DePorto giving her a little bit of a hitting tip as she heads back into the box. So we'll reset. Corral at first. And a 1-2 count to Garcia in the box. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Rivera sets up on the outside. And the 1-2 pitch and holding off on that one is Garcia. As Rivera came up ready to start tossing it around. As the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. Fuentes ready to deal. And the 2-2 pitch to Garcia. Swung on and missed. And so striking out the side is Fuentes working around a two-out single. We've played four. It's Carl's bat three at Lovington nothing. As Lovington Lady Cat Softball continues on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. When it comes to your hard-earned money... Selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. 
Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on. Lovington gets their first hit of the game, but they still trail this one. Three to nothing. Up first for the Cave Girls as we head to the fifth. It'll be Shea McAvoy followed by Faith Rivera. Then Bianca Villa. It is eight, nine, and one. Do up for the Cave Girls. Great to have you with us on a chilly Tuesday evening from here in Wildcat Country. So McAvoy will step in. She had a double to right her last time up. But was left stranded in the first pitch. Sanchez still in the ring. Will sail outside for ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. So the Cave Girls looking to build on a 3-0 lead. Lovington trying to keep it right where it is. And that one is going to be turned on and hit deep, but foul. As the wind carries that one out of the park for a very long strike one. McAvoy was sitting back waiting on that one and just got around on it a little bit quick. And Santos telling her, sit back on it just a little bit. So it evens the count at one and one. And the one one pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side as Corral plays the wind and comes out between third and the ring and will make the grab for out number one as McAvoy. After hitting a long ringing foul, gets under that one and pops it up. So one down here in the top of the fifth inning of note through now four and a third. Carlsbad has only stranded one runner. So now to be Rivera. She flew out to left her last time up, and she'll hit that one to left as Yaya on the, or rather Garcia. It's Bailey got the hand on it, but could not hold on to it. And so the E7 will put Rivera on. So she will have a courtesy runner check in. So the E7 and Rivera chugs on over to second. And that'll turn the lineup over. First error of the ball game for the Lady Cats. It's tough to ha have that one on Garcia. She had to move. If she doesn't hit, it hits in the heel of her glove, looked like, and so we have to uh, unfortunately credit that as an error. If she doesn't touch it, it's it's not. It's just a double, but she got the glove on it, even though she was having to move over towards the line. So one out, runner at second. Sorry, let me adjust the camera there. So we'll turn it over, and Via flew out to left her first time up, and she'll take the first pitch on the outside corner, strike one. Be interesting to see if Santos decides to have his leadoff hitter bunt try and move that runner over in the 0 1 pitch, and that one is going to be a fastball, a riser, rising fastball. But it's ball two, no matter how you look at it. Or did he call that a strike? Well, I'm going to go with what they got on the scoreboard and go with a one ball, one strike count. The 1 1 pitch and just kind of slapping at that one. And they are going to say that it was a fair ball. And Kidoga picks it up and fires it over to first. So Via is out 2 to 3 for out number 2. But it'll go in the books as a sacrifice because it moves Rivera down to third and gives them a chance to build on this 3 0 lead. But there is two outs as Paris Weldon steps in. She had an infield single, a hard shot down the first, rather the third baseline that Corral got to, and she'll take the first pitch off speed outside corner called strike one. So Weldon one for two. Had the infield single, stole a base, and then scored. And the pitch swung on and missed. A good pitch there from Sanchez. It's Weldon over the top of strike number two. So the no ball, two strike count. Lady Cats trying to keep this a 3-0 score in the fifth. Sabri Ruddy has what she wants, fires, and that one out of play. Well, it'll poke that one over to the tennis courts. Back behind the dugouts and the stands here at Lady Cat Field. 
Who will reset at 0-2? Runner at third is Rivera. Reached on an error and then moved to third. And the pitch swung on and missed. Ringer up, sitter down. Third K of the ball game for Sanchez. And that one comes at a big time as Carlsbad threatens but comes up empty. After four and a half, it's Carlsbad three, loving to nothing. We're back for more Lady Cat softball from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the products you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396 1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! In the top of the fifth, Carlsbad no runs on no hits. One error committed by the Lady Cats and one runner left on base. We head to the bottom of the fifth. It is 8-9-1, two up for Lovington, Olguin, Garcia, and Kidoga. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo tonight. Dawn Morgan a little bit under the weather. She will be back with us, I am hopeful, on Thursday over at Wildcat Park. The boys will be in action, taking on Ruidoso. So now Olguin will step in. Trying to get something going here in the latter half of this ball game. Bottom of the fifth inning, Lovington down 3-0 in the first pitch from Fuentes in Olguin. Short swung that one a little bit, strike one. No, oh, no ball, one strike count. Coach McCraw telling her, get out there, get it extended. As Fuentes looks in, has the sign, and the 0-1 pitch to Olguin as Jocelyn does extend on that one, gets it off the end of the bat, and shoots it over into the tennis courts. I know for sure that one made it to the tennis courts, strike two. Maybe be careful with those bright yellow balls coming in. Might mistake that for tennis ball if you weren't paying attention. They have put up netting, though, to keep that from happening as much. And the 0-2 pitch to Olguin, and that one going to sail away as Fuentes trying to get Jocelyn to chase. She does not. So it'll run the count to one ball and two strikes. Got to protect the plate here. You need base runners. Lovington still with nine outs to work with here, but 3-0, and Carlsbad's played pretty good so far. And the 1-2 pitch swung on and missed as got her with the curveball. Good late break from Fuentes there, and that is her 10th K of the ball game. And so one down now for Lovington as Bailey Garcia to the plate. Bailey reached via the walk and then got left stranded at third. Lovington has left two of their four stranded at third. So Bailey will step in. Fuentes' first pitch to her will be a fastball that is going to Nip the outside corner, strike one. Umpire took a second to think about that one, but he's called it right there all night, so I think probably the right call from my perspective right there all night. Can't really tell the up and the down so much. And the 0-1 pitch, and that one is going to be up in the zone. And missed just a little bit high, and even the count at a ball and a strike. So it's a one ball, one strike count. Bailey Garcia, the hitter, one down, nobody on. Corner infielders are in just a little bit. Middle infielders are back. And the 1-1 pitch to Garcia. She took a hack at that outside fastball and came up empty. And so now she's down in the count, one ball, two strikes. The 1-2 count to Garcia, who settles back in. Fuentes looks to just keep rolling, and the one-two pitch, and that one is swung on and missed. That is the 11th K of the ball game for Fuentes, and two down now for the Lady Cats as we turn it back over to the top of the lineup with an Aikidoga. 
Taking a look at the strikeouts, all 11 strikeouts have been swinging. Lovington now only one hit through four and two thirds. And now Cadoga, who walked in the first, then struck out in the third, is 0 for 1, and the first pitch is going to bounce off the plate. And now he watches ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. Fuentes will get the ball back. Fuentes has the one hitter going through four and two thirds. So she's ready to go in the 1 0 pitch, and that one's going to sail high. This came out of the hand funny. From doing a lot of games over the years with Don Morgan. And sometimes when they come out like that, you kind of bump the hip sometimes with the ball, and it causes it to come out funny. So see, Don, I have learned something over the years. And the 2-0 pitch, and that one is going to be right down the pipe, but low for ball three. Good eye by Kidoga. As an eye is the catcher. You expect her to have a pretty good idea of the zone at this point. Then with three ball, no strike count. As Fuentes will deal, and that one is going to be a late breaker, and it misses low for ball four, so Kidoga works her second walk of the ball game. And so Lovington's got a little two-out life here. So now it'll be Honey Morales to the plate. Morales 0 for 0, went a sack bunt in the first, then walked in the third and was left stranded. So now Lovington going to try and get the two-out rally moving as Kidoka, who runs for herself, stands at first. And the first pitch to Honey as she'll wave at the high outside fastball for strike number one. If you're in Lovington here, you've got to make Fuentes pitch to you. You can't go chasing. Well, no ball, one strike count. Kidoga stands at first. Rivera flashes the signs. Fuentes double checks it. She's ready to go. And the 0-1 delivery out of the windmill, and that one is going to be high and outside. Morales checked herself up, thought about going for it, but held off, and the count evens in a ball and a strike. Rivera pops up and... Basically looks, Kidoga back over to first. Rivera sets up over the middle in the 1-1 pitch, and that one is going to be in the dirt for ball number two. Is that if you're Lovington here, doesn't matter how you get them, but you need base runners. Got to make Fuentes pitch to you. 11 Ks in the ball game for Fuentes. He is ringing them up. Lovington has not figured her out. Now coming into their third time through the lineup. And the 2-1 fastball runs inside corner called strike two. Morales thought that one had come inside, and maybe it did, but it nipped enough of the plate. Umpire was convinced it was a strike. He's called that for both pitchers a couple of times. So the two ball, two strike count. Kidoga at first, two down. Lovington trails by three. And the 2-2 two -two pitch to Morales. That one is up high. Rivera has to stab that one to keep Kidoga over at first. But that'll run the count full. Lady Cats have worked quite a few full counts, but a lot of them have turned into Ks. As a Morales settles back in. And the payoff pitch swung on and missed. That'll be the 12th K of the ball game for Fuentes and the Lady Cats get a girl on but can't move her around. We're through five here at Lady Cat Field. It's Carlsbad three, Lovington nothing. The Lady Cat softball continues from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Fuel Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. 
from the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services. In the bottom of the fifth, Lovington, no runs, no hits, no errors, and they leave one runner stranded. We head to the sixth. Carlsbad still in the lead of this one, three to nothing. I'm TJ Miracle sitting in for Don Morgan tonight. Up for Carlsbad as we come to the sixth inning. It'll be Michaela Chester, Kaylee and Fuentes, and then Hannah Sanders. It is three, four, and five. The heart of the lineup due up for the Cave Girls. Hope you're having a great evening tonight. So Chester to the plate as, again, temperatures starting to fall off as we're at 46 degrees, according to the weather service right now. It is getting just a bit nippy out there. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. Making sure I'm back on the scoreboard. There we go. All right. So Chester will step in. She is 0 for 2, a couple of ground outs, and she'll take the first pitch, and it's a line shot off the glove of Corral. Angelina picks it up, fires to first in time, knocks it down, and fires it across the diamond. Five to three for out number one. Great pitch, or rather great play there by Corral, and she knocked it down and then had the presence of mind to still get it and fire it to get the speedy Chester four out number one, and a good stretch there by Olguin to get her. So one pitch, one out, that's what you like to see. That's efficient. So now it'll be Fuentes to the plate, one for two. She had an RBI single her last time up, and she'll take the first pitch she sees and shoot that one out of play for strike one. Carlsbad started this game a little bit tentative at the bat, but they have become more aggressive as the game has gone on. And the 0-1 pitch, and ooh, good change up as Fuentes goes well underneath that one as it was rising out of the zone for strike two. Got the riser and changed the speed from, from the heat to the watermelon. In the 0-2, and that one is going to rise out of the zone. Good rising fastball, but it just started about six inches lower, and it's a 1-2 count. Trying to get her to chase. I doubt Fuentes will do that. Sets up at the front of the box, and the one-two pitch swung on, and that'll be a line shot. Going to find its way through out into left field as Garcia will come up with it, make a strong throw into Morales at second. But Fuentes will shoot one out to left, so she is now two for three on the night. And it'll bring Hannah Sanders to the plate. We will have a courtesy runner come in. And because she's wearing the sleeves, we do not know who that is. So now Hannah Sanders to the plate. She's one for two, but her one was a biggie. It was a no-doubter to straightaway center through the wind. Two-run blast her last time up. She'd like to replicate that right here, and Sanchez would like anything but that to happen. So Sanders will step in with one out and one on, and she'll take the first pitch up for ball one. Well, the one ball, no strike count. Sanders out. Now she's back in. Sets up towards the back of the right side box, and that fastball is outside. Kidoka tries to frame it up. The ump doesn't buy it. Seen her counterpart do that a couple of times, and the ump hadn't bought it for her either. So it's a two ball, no strike count. Courtesy runner on for Fuentes, and that's a line shot. Corral snags it, fires back to first in time. Yes, ma'am, the 5-3 twin killing. <coughs> and Corral with a huge double play gets the line shot from Sanders and then fires over to Olguin at first to get the 5-3 double play. And so the threat ends in the bottom of, or rather the top of the sixth inning. We head to the bottom of the sixth. It's Carlsbad three, loving to nothing, but maybe that'll change the Lady Cats' fortune. We're back. More Lady Cats softball here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Z94 Facebook page. Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to LovingtonSchools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Disappointed. Go Big Blue. Three claps and a woo! Back here at Lady Cat Field as a twin-killing corral with a line 
grabbed a line shot and a hard one on the line by Hannah Sanders and then fires across the diamond to Old Gein at first for the five to three double play. Carlsbad no runs on one hit, no errors committed and nobody left on base. So we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. I catch my book up here quickly. Thank you for bearing with me. So to the bottom of the six, it'll be three, four and five. It'll be the heart of the order. For the Lovington Lady Cats due up, it'll be Zabri Rodriguez, Daphne Utahata, and Zimmery Ellis. So let's see if that big double play can change the Lady Cats' fortune with the sticks. So Zimmery 0 for 2 will step in. Fuentes still in the ring, and she will fire the first one, and that one is coming up and out of play. And right in front of the stands, for strike one, Zabry getting well under that one. Wellington has been held to just one hit thus far tonight. And Fuentes has mowed down 12 of the Lady Cats, 12 Ks. All of them have been swinging, interestingly enough, but still 12 strikeouts is not a bad night's work. Fuentes will deal. That one is high in the air. Yeah, the wind's going to hang it up into shallow right field. And going over is Weldon. And she calls off Chester at the last possible second and makes the grab. So Rodriguez pops out to Weldon, the second baseman, for one down. And now it'll be Daphne Utahata to the plate. Daff 0 for 2 on the night. She has been a strikeout victim a couple of times herself. Matter of fact, the only lady cat tonight that is not struck out is Angelina Corral. As Fuentes deals in the first pitch, that one is going to run inside for ball number one to Utahata. Of course, as we mentioned, Utahata announced, I think, yesterday that she'd signed with Galveston College down in Galveston, Texas. <coughs> Pardon me, continuing her softball career there, so congratulations to her. And the 1-0 pitch swung on and missed as Daff well out in front of a good changeup from Fuentes. Again, Fuentes has not used that pitch much tonight, but has used it to great effect. Outfield for the Cave Girls is still playing about three-quarters of the way back, and Chester still well over towards the line in right, as much as she was earlier, but still a pretty good hole out there. The 1-1 pitch, and that one is going to hit the top of the zone with a late break and rising two. For strike number two. So one ball, two strike count to Unahata. And she'll settle back in. One down here in the sixth. Fuentes deals, swung on and missed. That'll be strike three. And Unahata goes down swinging for the third time tonight. 13th K of the ball game for Fuentes. And there are two down for the Lady Cats as Emery Ellis will step to the dish. Ellis with a deep fly out in the second and then struck out in the fourth, 0 for 2. But Ellis going to try and get the line moving here for the Lady Cats. Is that one going to be in the dirt for ball one? The oh, Lady Cats. <laughs> They've just had trouble figuring out Fuentes tonight. Didn't have any trouble in the hit category against Hobbs. They had 10 of them, but just had trouble getting them timely as Ellis shoots that one out to the parking lot. She probably did hit the white Toyota, knowing my luck. And it evens up the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. And so Ellis trying to keep things, trying to get things moving for the Lady Cats. Now Rivera ready to go, and the 1-1 pitch, and that one's going to rise out of the zone for ball number two. So the two-ball, one-strike count. Lovington trailing by three. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning. So it's a two-and-one count. Again, Fuentes has pitched a butte here tonight. And the 2-1 pitch swung on and missed as took a little bit off of that one. Ellis was expecting the fastball. It wasn't a full changeup, but it wasn't her high heat either, and the count evens up at two and two. One thing Fuentes has done a nice job of is varying speeds. 
And the 2-2 pitch swung on, and that's a little comebacker knocked down in the ring by Fuentes, who will pick it up and take it over to Hernandez at first in time. 1-3 to three for out number three. So the Lady Cats go 1-2-3 in the sixth. We head to the seventh. It's Carlsbad 3, loving to nothing as Lady Cats softball continues from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue O in Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Lovington goes 1-2-3 in the sixth. We head to the seventh, and it'll be Hernandez, Madrid, and McAvoy due up. That is 6-7 and 8 due up for Carlsbad. Sanchez still in the ring trying to go the whole way, and her first pitch will be in there on the outside corner. Strike one to Hernandez. Hernandez 0 for 2 on the night. Popped out to Hernandez. That's Layla Hernandez back in the second and then flew out to right in the fourth. And the next pitch is going to be up and away. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. You know, Sanchez has not pitched a bad game, even though she's trailing 3-0. And the pitch, a good changeup as that one floats in there and drops through the zone at the last moment for a called strike two. Then we'll one ball, two strike count. Outfield deep as the wind continues to whip here a little bit tonight. Temperatures continue to fall. And the one-two pitch, and that one is going to be high ball two. Sanchez trying to get Hernandez to chase. Again, Sanchez has not pitched a bad game. He's kind of had one oopsie inning, and that one is heading to the parking lot. Strike two. Stays strike two. So other than that three-hit third, or rather fourth inning, Zabry's only given up three hits in the ballgame and no runs. Lovington with one error, but it did not come back to haunt them. And the 2-2 two -two pitch is outside, ball three. So that will run the count full to Aubrey Hernandez leading things off for the Cave Girls here in the seventh. Not a lot of full counts tonight. This is, by my reckoning, just the second full count that Carlsbad has worked as that one's heading to the stands. So the count will stay full, three and two. So Sanchez trying to keep this a 3-0 game and give Lovington a chance to have the bats warm up and wake up in the bottom of the second. And the 3-2 pitch, and that one is going to be just inside, ball four. And if I'm not mistaken, and I am not, that is the first walk issued on the night by Sabri Sanchez. So the leadoff walk, and now it'll be Allie Madrid to the plate. Madrid popped out to left in the third and then struck out to in the fourth. Three Ks on the night for Sanchez. And they're asking to change out the softballs. Well, we've got a second. Big thanks to all of our great sponsors. You see them there at the bottom of your screen. You're hearing their ads. Appreciate their support, and I'm going to ask that you support those great businesses that support these kids as Madrid steps in and takes a big hack at strike number one. Runner at first is Hernandez, who worked the leadoff walk. Well, Madrid will step back in, now down 0-1. Sanchez ready to go, and the pitch swung on, and that one is hit high in the air to shallow left field. It's going to fall in in front of Garcia. Bailey will get to it and get it back in, but it'll be a nobody out single, and now Carlsbad trying to tack on to this 3-0 lead here in the seventh. So now it'll be Shea McAvoy to the plate. 
McAvoy doubled to right and then popped out, so she is one for two in the ball game. But now two on, nobody out, and a jam for the Lady Cats. And McAvoy takes the first pitch and pops that up over on the right side. Ogeen in front of the Lovington dugout will make the grab for out number one. Good job by Jocelyn as she grabbed that one and put the hand on it and basically dared Hernandez to try and move over from second. So one down now. And that'll bring up the number nine hitter, Faith Rivera. Rivera over two, but did reach on an error her last time up and got left stranded. And she'll take the first pitch and shoot that one out into the warm-up area behind the Carlsbad dugout for strike one. Over towards Wildcat Jim back there. So a no ball, one strike count, two on, one out. As Kidoga flashes the sign in the 0-1 pitch, fastball, and that one runs away to the lefty Rivera. And we'll even things up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Next up for Lovington, they hit the road this weekend down to Santa Teresa. And the 1-1 pitch, swung on and missed. Got her with a good high changeup. Playing Gadsden and Santa Teresa down in in Anthony this weekend, doubleheader for them. And the one-two pitch, swung on and missed, ring her up and sit her down as down goes Rivera, fourth K of the night for Sanchez, and there are two down now for the Cave Girls. Well, that'll turn things over though to Bianca Villa. Villa singled in the first, then got caught stealing, flew out to left field in the third and then had a sacrifice in the fifth and she'll take the first pitch and it'll be a line shot out into right field as Garcia on the run makes the grab that one was tailing away and dying Bailey put the glove down and slapped it into the glove and so Via goes on nuts as she gives it a ride but comes up empty on the line out to left so Carlsbad threatens but comes up empty Lovington's got three outs to work with bottom of the seventh on the way as Lady Cat softball continues in just a moment when it comes to your hard-earned money selecting the right bank is vital hi I'm David Campbell president of First American Bank in Lovington First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart Hub. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcecnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. No runs on one hit, no errors committed by Lovington, and two runners left on for the Cave Girls. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Lovington needs three runs to extend this ball game. I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us tonight. Don Morgan a little bit under the weather, as it'll be up to Corral, Hernandez, and Holguin. Six, seven, and eight. Do up for your Lady Cats. Who's still in the ring is Fuentes, who has pitched a whale of a ball game. 13 Ks. So Corral steps in. She is one for two. She has Lovington's one hit tonight. And the first pitch to Angelina, and she's taking that one to the parking lot for strike number one. So if that is any indication, Lovington may be looking to, to jump on Fuentes early. It's when she's taking them deep in counts that they've had a little problem. She goes into the washing machine, then the windmill, and takes that one low. And over the top is Corral for strike number two. A little bit anxious there. No, no ball, two strike count. Lady Cats doing what they can. Gonna, you gotta have base runners. 
And the 0-2 pitch to Corral, swung on, and that's a line shot over the head of a leaping Sanders and goes all the way to the wall out in left. Angelina rounds first. She is heading to second, and she has the leadoff double to left center as Villa gets to it and gets it in. But the leadoff double out to left, and the Lady Cats in business here in the seventh. So now it'll be Yaya Garcia to the plate. Came in to pinch hit for Layla in the fourth inning. She is 0 for 1. It's Coach McCraw telling her exactly what he wants to see. So Yaya going to step in, runner in scoring position for the Lady Cats, trailing by three. Trying to get a little seventh inning cardiac cat magic going. And the first pitch is at the knees outside corner. Beautiful pitch from Fuentes. Garcia does not offer at strike one. Oh, no ball, one strike count. Corral stands at second after the leadoff double. Fuentes double checks the wristband. Now she'll deal, and that one is going to come inside. Ball number one. Nice job by Rivera. Always got to give credit where credit is due. Blocks that one to keep Corral stapled over at second. Coach McCraw flashing the signs to Corral. Yaya with the open stance in the batter's box and the 1-1 pitch, and that one's going to sail on Fuentes, and it'll be ball number two. So the two-ball, one-strike count. You're Lovington right now. You just need base runners. Make her pitch to you. What is a 2-1 count as Fuentes will deal, and that one's going to run inside. Crossed up Rivera a little bit. She was set up outside, and that one ran inside. That one was close to being a strike anyway, but it'll be ball three. I think if she set up inside, it might have been a strike, but the way she had to move, I'm not going to give her the benefit of the doubt on that one. And so now the 3-1 pitch, and that one's going to be low for ball four, and so that will bring the potential tying run to the plate, a leadoff double, then a walk, and that will bring Jocelyn Olguin to the plate as Coach McCraw going to courtesy run for Garcia. He's going to put Joanna Ochoa in, so Ochoa at first to run. So Ochoa on to run for Garcia, getting a little bit more speed out on the base paths. So now the potential tie run is at the plate in the form of Jocelyn Olguin. Two on, nobody out. Lady Cats aren't threatening here in the seventh. So Olguin will settle into the right side box. So Wintez has her sign, and she will deal, and that one's going to run inside to Jocelyn, ball number one. Only one ball, no strike count. Again, if you're Lovington, just keep the line moving. Don't try and be a hero. Just get on base and turn it over to the next girl in line. Bailey Garcia waits on deck. Rivera flashes the sign, and the pitch swung on and missed as Jocelyn Taking a wave at an outside corner fastball. I think it would have been a strike anyway. But again, it was that upper part of the zone fastball. I think it must have some pretty wicked late movement on it. Fuentes has got Lovington on that pitch all night. And the 1-1 pitch swung on and missed as she gets her with the changeup right down the pipe. Olguin thinking fastball and Fuentes going, nah, I'm going to take something off of it. And does for strike two. So it's a one ball, two strike count. Ochoa at first, Corral at second, and the one-two pitch swung on. That one is a slow roller back up the middle. It is going to be backhanded by the second baseman, Weldon. She bobbles it, fires it in, and the run will score as Ochoa moves over to third, and Lovington finally strikes as Angelina Corral will come in from second. The old gain with a single. It's not an RBI single, and then on the play in, Everybody moves around, and so Lovington, with nobody out, now has the tying runs in scoring position, and it'll be Bailey Garcia to the plate. So Olguin with the single stands at second, and now it's up to Bailey to keep the line moving. First pitch to Garcia is going to be up and away for ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. Coach McCraw telling her, you know your pitch. <laughs> Look for your pitch. And being rather emphatic about it. As the 1-0 pitch, and that one is off the fist and back to the screen, and the count evens up at a ball and a strike. 
So three to one the score. Angelina Corral led the inning off with the double. Goes all the way to the wall in left center and then Yaya Garcia walk, works the walk. And then it's Olguin with the single up the middle. They got bobbled a little bit by Weldon, which let the run score. Then now Fuentes going to check the wristband. Rivera sets up on the outside. And the 1-1 pitch swung on and missed as Garcia takes a big hack at it and comes up empty. And McCraw again reminding her, look for your pitch. Don't be the hero. Just get on base and hand it off. Ani Ikadoga waits on deck. It's a one ball, two strike count. Two on, nobody out. And the pitch, and that one going to run inside. And that'll be ball number two. Oh, the two ball, two strike count. Good eye by Garcia. Ochoa at third, running for Garcia. Olguin at second. And now Bailey settles back in with the open stance. Front of the right side box. A two ball, two strike count. Fuentes will deal. Swung on and miss. That'll be her 14th K of the ball game. And Lovington has their first out of the inning. And But it'll turn things back over to the top of the lineup as Anahi Kidoga to the plate. Kidoga a couple of walks. And this one has been left stranded both times. Is officially 0 for 1 in the ball game. Struck out in the third. Last time up, walked on four pitches. Both of her walks have been on four pitches. And the first pitch to Anae, and she will wave at a fastball, strike one. Kind of a darned if you do, darned if you don't situation for Coach Santos of the Cave Girls and Fuentes. If you load them up, it's a force on any base, but it makes things a little more interesting with the top of the lineup up and the 0-1 pitch to Kidoka, and that one's going to be high for ball number one. So the count evens up at one ball and one strike. Fuentes has ruled the top of the zone tonight. Alana, he, she's just she's not wasting any time. She's ready to go. Fuentes is a little more deliberate than a lot of pitchers that we see. I think it works in her favor. And the 1-1 pitch swung on and that one's into the parking lot for strike number two. Oh, the one ball, two strike count. Lovington. Trailed in this one, 3-0, coming into the bottom of the seventh inning. The leadoff double by Corral, then a walk, then a single. On a bobble and a play at the plate, moves everybody over. One down, but the tying runs in scoring position for the Lady Cats. Top of the order, Kidoga at the plate. And the 1-2 pitch, and that one is going to be top of the zone, called strike three. First caught looking tonight for the Lady Cats, and that is 15 Ks for Fuentes. And now it'll be on the shoulders of Honey Morales. As Coach McCraw going to come over, have a word with Honey. So the tying runs at second and third. Olguin at second, Ochoa at third. As McCraw telling Morales what he wants. So the Lady Cats are threatening. And Honey is generally their most consistent hitter. If Honey can find a way through, good speed over at second with Olguin. A hit probably ties this ball game if it's to the right spot. And the first pitch to Honey, and she will take a big hack at a fastball, strike number one. Steven telling her, just look at it, find your pitch, don't chase. Good advice. No ball, one strike count. It's Fuentes trying to shut down the Lovington rally. And the 0-1 pitch as Honey checks it up as that one sails outside. And the count evens up at 1-1. One and one And might be able to hear Steven in the background saying, don't chase. Coach McCraw knows that he has got, he has got a golden opportunity here. Oh, one ball, one strike count. And the pitch and check swing and up oh, should have gone for it. Honey's probably not going to see a better pitch than that this week. And now Lovington is down to their final strike of the night. So a one ball, two strike count. If Morales can find a way on, Avery Rodriguez would be up next. 
Fuentes wants to end it right here. Look for to come after her. And the one-two pitch, and that one is going to be inside. She came after her, but just missing inside. And it evens the count at two balls and two strikes. And what we've seen with Fuentes is after she throws that inside pitch, she will often come back high and fast and away. Try and get top of the zone away. Let's see what she does here. 2-2 pitch, and that one is high and away, but missing outside as Morales holds up on it. And that'll run the count full to Honey. Just the third full count of the night offered by Fuentes, and two of them have been to Morales. Honey going to do a little yard work in the batter's box. So she settles in. Three and two the count. Fuentes, the payoff pitch, and Morales gets a piece of it off the end of the bat, up into the screening on top of the on-deck circle on the first baseline. So Morales will stay alive. Runner at second is Olguin. Runner at third is Ochoa. Lovington trails by two. Tying runs in scoring position. As Fuentes ready to go. Payoff pitch, and that one is going to be low for ball number four as Morales will work the two-out walk to load the bases up. And so now the potential winning run is on the base pass for Zabri Rodriguez. Zabri 0 for 3. Popped out to Weldon her last time up. It was a dying quail out in right that Weldon chopped in front of Chester to get. So now nowhere to put him. As Rodriguez ready to go, just keep the line moving. In the first pitch, that one sails as Rivera has to come out of her crouch. Does a nice job to stab that one to keep the run from coming in with Ochoa at third, and it'll be ball one. You got to feel the pressure. Lovington's got to be feeling it. And Coach McCraw asking for time. Not sure what uh, he's asking for. Are we going to have a courtesy runner check in? Yes, we are. Is Olguin going to come out? He's going for even more speed over at second. I'm not sure who that is for sure out at second. But we do have a runner for Olguin out at second. And a 1-0 count to Rodriguez at the plate. Going for max speed on the base paths. Coach McCron, the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that one is drilled to deep left center. Back, 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 and bam on softball! Touch them all, the grand salami! Zabri Rodriguez is going to walk this one off, and the Lady Cats will win it! 5-3 to three on the walk-off grand slam by Zabri Rodriguez! It plates Ochoa, it plates Olguin, it plates Morales, and of course it plates Rodriguez, and the Lady Cats will come from behind and win this one. Final score, 5-3. to three. Zabri Rodriguez walks it off with the grand slam with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Wow! We'll be back to wrap this one up. The Lady Cats go to 7-2 and two on the year. Zabri Rodriguez, the hero. Lady Cats softball concludes in a moment. When it comes to your hard-earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called SmartUp. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the SmartHub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the SmartHub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with SmartHub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. 
Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called SmartUp. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the SmartHub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the SmartHub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with SmartHub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396 1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Back here at Lady Cat Field, our final score is Lovington walks it off on a grand slam by Zabri Rodriguez, and they get the 5-3 to three victory. Final line score in this one for Lovington, five runs on four hits. They commit one error, and they leave five runners on base. For Carlsbad, three runs on seven hits. They don't commit any errors, and they leave four runners on base. Sabri Sanchez gets the win tonight, goes all seven innings, so the seven-inning complete game gives up seven hits, three Three runs, all three of them earned, walked one, and struck out four. Kaylee and Fuentes, a masterpiece until the very end. She went the whole way, too, for the loss. She had seven innings pitched, gave up four hits, five runs, all of them earned, 15 strikeouts on the night, and she walked six, and ultimately it was those walks that finally came back to Bider Lovington, trailing 3-0 for much of this game but uh, then locked it down. It was back and forth in the first three innings, and Carlsbad explodes for three in the fourth. But then Lovington shut them back down from there on out, and they get all five of their runs in the seventh. But nothing more exciting than a walk-off grand slam. Zabri Rodriguez, I've been uh, informed that that was the second time this season that she has done that. So congratulations to Zabri as Lovington will improve to six, or rather seven and two on the season. Carlsbad will drop to four and five. Next up for the Lady Cats, they'll be on the road down at Anthony Gadsden on Thursday, a doubleheader against Gadsden and then Santa Teresa. Then they'll travel over to Roswell next week. We'll be back on April the 5th against Boleyn right here at the friendly confines of Lady Cat Field. Next up on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com for you. It'll be the Lovington Boys on Thursday afternoon against Ruidoso from over at Wildcat Park. It's going to have to go a ways to be as exciting as this one was, especially at the end as the Lady Cats are victorious 5-3 to three on the Grand Slam to walk it off by Zabri Rodriguez. Tonight's game has been brought to you by the Lovington Municipal School, Stone Oilfield Services, Lee County Electric Cooperative, Lovington Auto Supply, the First American Bank of Lovington, Devon Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, Bob Thriftway, and Western States Insurance. For Evie Stuber, keeping an eye and an ear on things back at One Radio Square for Don Morgan, I'm TJ Miracle saying goodnight and so long, the Lady Cats victorious 5-3. to three. Thanks for watching. This has been an exclusive presentation of New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Have a great night, everybody.